There are many, many physical constants in the universe, and I thought it would be fun to try to talk about them one by one and learn what they really mean. We have things like pi. We have things like the number E. We have things like the speed of light C. And today, I'd like to talk about K, the Boltzmann's constant, and that connects the microscopic world of atoms to the macroscopic quantity that we call temperature. Here is the famous Boltzmann's constant. We call it K, sometimes you might see it K sub e, 1.38 and some change times 10 to the minus 23. But I want you to pay attention to the units. The units are joules per Kelvin. So what this constant is doing in a nutshell is connecting the microscopic world of jiggling atoms, movement on the microscopic scale, to the macroscopic things that we can physically interact with, like temperature. So we have energy in the unit and we have Kelvin, which is a temperature scale. Now we all know that if we take something like a bolt and put half of it in a blowtorch, it's going to start glowing. It's going to have a lot of, of, of heat transferred into that object. And so it's temperature, the thing we measure with the thermometer goes up. And then if we leave it out over time, it will spontaneously by itself cool off down to a lower temperature. But what exactly is temperature anyway? You know, scientists wrestled with this question for hundreds of years. Actually, here's a cup of coffee, for instance, and it's very hot in this picture. And we know that when something has a high temperature, it cools off. And scientists thought that the heat that was contained inside of matter when it was hot almost behaved like a fluid. Actually, they had a name for it. They thought that heat was a physical fluid that was invisible but could be transferred from a hot object to a cold object. And they called that quantity or that fluid caloric. It wasn't until we had the atomic theory of matter to know that everything was made of these small jiggling things called atoms. And the theory was put forward that maybe temperature isn't a fluid that's transferred. Maybe it's just different types of motion or different amounts of energy in the motion of these little things called atoms. And that's what we know to be true today. Now we know that the concept of temperature is really linked to the average movement or velocity of these little things called atoms. It's equal to the mass of the atoms times the average of the velocity squared divided by three times this Boltzmann constant K, which pops up everywhere. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared, and we have an mv squared here, so the temperature really is related to the average kinetic energy of the underlying atoms. And joules per Kelvin is telling you for every degree Kelvin increase in temperature, you're picking up this amount of joules in energy per atom or molecule. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.